Hi, today we are going to talk about a deep learning model called BERT. So what we'll cover is what exactly is BERT, how is it used in deep learning, uh, and you know how it performs on natural language tasks much better than any of the previous algorithms. About me, I'm Dhruvil, a full-time data scientist and an AI consultant with MarkTech Post. So deep learning has been extremely popular in NLP in recent times, especially with uh, the advancements in architectures like LSTMs and RNNs. More recently, BERT, a different type of uh, neural network, has dominated all the NLP tasks and is really popular for any downstream tasks like uh, sentence classification or uh, text summarization. So what exactly is BERT? BERT um, stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. So what it means that uh, when you train BERT, when you input a sentence into the BERT model, uh, and you know when the BERT is trying to predict the representations for a single word, it looks at words to the left of it and to the right of it to understand the context and learn more meaningful representations. Like said, you know, it is widely used for fine-tuning tasks like document classification, text summarization, name data recognition, and phrase extraction. Traditionally, LSTMs were go-to model for any language task. What LSTMs and you know, in general, RNNs do is they take an input sentence, and uh, so and they start with the first word from the left, and the information learned is passed to the right word i mean which is the next word so that you know the right word has the information from the previous word as well as its own information and so on a meaningful representation is generated which is used for multiple uh, use cases BERT is not like lstms it does not use um, such sequence modeling instead what it does is it uses something called attention so as you can see in the figure uh, in the right column uh, the word it has you know several lines connecting to the words on the left column these lines are the attention weights so uh, as you see the top columns the top rows in the left column uh, having words like the animal didn't are dark as compared to the bottom words this is because it is paying more attention towards those words so uh, that's how attention works roughly now how is BERT trained uh, BERT is trained using two methods so let's say you have a large corpus of you know hundreds and thousands of sentences and uh, so true to learn that corpus to learn the language of the corpus BERT uh, uses something called mass language model so what you do is you basically randomly select words in the corpus and mask them and you ask BERT to predict those masked words. So in this process BERT you know learns the language and predicts those masked words. Another way to train BERT is next sentence prediction. So you input a sentence into BERT and you ask BERT which of the following proposed candidates could be the next possible sentence for the input sentence. Now one of the possible candidates is the next sentence while others are just randomly sampled negative examples and uh, in this way BERT you know learns the language now uh, one thing BERT enables is something called transfer learning so in computer vision tasks transfer learning has been popular meaning you use a model which was trained on one domain and you use the learnings from that model to train your own model in your task in your uh, data set so uh, fine tuning in BERT means that you use the BERT which is trained using mass language model and next sentence prediction and let's say you have a specific task of sentiment analysis so what you do is you basically use those pre-trained weights of BERT and you use your own data set on top of it and you know you kind of retrain those weights but this time it is much easier because BERT already knows the language. It just has to, you know, learn the extra uh, classification features and then you're good to go. 
so this is called transfer learning 